Yo, what is going on, folks of the internet? So I've been doing videos like this recently. I think I've done maybe two or three now on NHL 20, right at the end of it there. And now we are in NHL 21, so I'm going to be doing another one, but a different format, obviously. This time we're going to go with first overall draft picks that are still playing in the NHL. So obviously the newest one being Lafreniere, and then the oldest one being Jumbo Joe. So he is also a free agent. I think there's 19 total. So we've got, I'll just go through the list quick here. McDavid, Crosby, Ovechkin, McKinnon, Kane, Matthews, Stamkos, Tavares, Hull, Fleury, uh, Dolan. We've got Ekblad, Nuge, Heischer. I still don't know if I'm pronouncing that right. Probably not, um, but I'm just going to stick to it. Kovalchuk, Eric Johnson, Lafreniere, Jumbo Joe, and Jack Hughes. So there we go. Am I missing someone? Probably. Am I going to get screamed at in the comments? More than likely. So I've already gone and created the Seattle Kraken. I did not make their jerseys, but we aren't going to be seeing them anyway. So it's irrelevant. Now I am kind of curious as to whether or not they improved the uh, expansion draft logic at all or not. My guess is no. It's probably going to be the same thing. And we are going to get a team that absolutely stinks. By the way, if you can hear my controller clicks, I don't know why it picks that up. It never used to. I'm gonna have to look into it. But there's also no reason an Xbox controller should be that loud. Like it sounds like a mouse trap going off every time I touch the damn D-pad. So most of the setup for franchise mode looks pretty similar. I know that they have record books now. So I made a new graphic for the all time for this one because I was excited to do some career sims and I guess I don't need it anymore. By the way, what is that supposed to be? They're the AHL logo, the default thing. Like, what what is that? To me, it kind of looks like I just hit the desk. Like a, like a evil lizard person or something. I don't know. That's what I got from it. Or like it's supposed to be wings. I couldn't tell you. All right, here it is. The record book. Let us see what this is all about. So, okay. So it shows you stats like that for the team. You can see season. You can see rookie and game. Okay. That's pretty neat. And then if we go to NHL, we can see, oh, it only showed you the top five. So I think I am going to need it then. <laughs> I'm probably going to need it anyway, because most points and stuff, it only shows top five. Unless I simulate someone that joins that elite company, then yeah, probably going to need the graphic anyway. So that's good. Okay, let's sim to the expansion draft and let's find out where'd we end up in the law. Come on. Really? All right, sim the entire draft. Yes, please. Let's see what team we end up with here. Okay, so Henrik, Gardner, Atkinson. We've got Torres, who I think was just put on thing for buyout. We got X-Tech legend Ronning, so that's pretty fire. JVR, Jonathan Quick, Parise, Montembeau, Neil, Jari, Jones, uh, Sergachev. I'll take that. Why would you take Louis Erickson? All right, let's begin the NHL entry draft here. Let's just do the first few picks and see what happens. And let's go sim option, sim pick. And there he... Okay. Okay. So there you go. He's not a free agent anymore. He plays for Buffalo. That's interesting. All right. We got Stutzla going to the Sens as he did anyway. Um... Ponomarev, pa wow, what was that? Ponomarev, I think I got at least close. Lucas Raymond, I think he he went to Detroit as well in the actual draft. So I'm going to take Quinton Byfield uh, because he went second overall in the real thing. So yeah, power forward, medium elite, 77 overall. We're only simming one season, so it absolutely does not matter, but that's fire. Okay, well, let's sim to free agency and let's just see if the players are still there. I'm assuming that they should be, right? So we got McDavid, yep, Darlene, Nuge. Okay, so so far so good. Really? I left the auto sign thing on, figuring, you know, maybe it was, oh, we have negative $13 million of cap space, okay. So that's probably why we didn't sign him. Turns out that the auto draft in this game's even worse. I also did not see Jack Hughes. I don't know if that's like an age thing or something. Maybe he... I don't know. That's very strange, but I know I showed him at the beginning of the video, so he definitely was here. Well, let's sim to the next season anyway, and I'll see if I can find them somewhere. All right, first things first, let's edit my lines. And so, so far, it looks like, oh, I just hit no, but I really wanted that to be a yes. How how did this happen? Look at my fourth line. Okay, Byfield did crack the lineup, so I guess it does matter. Wow. I don't know. I don't know what to tell you. Okay, anyway, I... Uh, <laughs> 
Okay, if we win a single game this year, I'm gonna be very impressed. Our team status is seller. Is that like even below rebuilder? Like we just wanna get the hell out of there? Okay, the first team here I see Nico. It's going to be the second line center for the Anaheim Ducks. And I suppose Taylor Hall re-signed with Arizona because I did put him in free agency. So I hate when that happens because it makes me feel like I didn't put him there. I said that in the last video too, but it is what it is. And the Boston Bruins signed Crosby. I bet you he signed a team-friendly deal. There's Lafreniere. He's going to be the second liner for Buffalo here, having been drafted. So congrats on the lottery in uh, this virtual world, at least. They also got Freddie Anderson. So I, is his contract up this year for the Leafs? I don't even know. Max Domi, they actually just traded and signed him. So that's kind of interesting. Oh, there's Rasmus. Mr. Dahlin went to Chicago. So he's a... Defenseman with Bufflin, who was another free agent there. And it looks like Flower ended up on Colorado. So they lost McKinnon and picked up Flower. Okay, the Edmonton Oilers ended up re-signing McDavid and also getting Patrick Kane. I don't know how they pulled that off. Well, I guess to be fair, McDavid was asking for his old salary. Well, a big chunk off of his old salary, I should say. Ovechkin has landed in Florida. He's going to be playing with Barkov and Huberdeau. That line is ridiculous. Austin Matthews will be the first line centerman for... Your Montreal Canadian. Johnny T landed in New Jersey. I don't see Hughes anywhere, but I also know that they have Zaka and Zajac who are also 80 overall, so I don't know. I might have to search for him after if he doesn't show up. Wow, they beefed up their defensive core even more. They got Aaron Ekblad added to it. That's just not fair. Okay, well, Jack Hughes apparently ended up on the Rangers. I have no idea how or when that happened, but... There it is. So yeah, I did move Matt Murray. So there we go. He is on Ottawa. I don't think that trade was done in the roster that's active on this game. So I think I had to do that myself. But yeah, it looks like they didn't pick anyone up, which is kind of surprising. Nate Mack has gone to St. Louis. I'm trying to think of who I haven't seen yet. Steven Stamkos. There he is. I, I don't know. Have I seen Crosby? I'm not sure. And also on top of that, I haven't seen Johnson yet. So... Yeah, on the lookout for him as well. I also don't think I've seen Joe Thornton, so I might have just passed him somewhere. Or maybe they're still in free agency. I don't know. I guess we're going to have to look. Okay, so yeah, Eric Johnson didn't get signed. Kovalchuk did not get signed. Thornton didn't get signed. Once again, I'm not too sure if I saw everyone. I think I have now. But uh, if not, I'm sure someone in the comments will point it out. So just read down there and you'll get your answer. Okay, let's start simulating. I'm going to be honest with you. The record book thing, a little underwhelming considering it only shows you the top five. But I'm still down. Like it's still a cool feature to add, but it doesn't really help me too much or change too much the career simulation videos that, okay, we won our first game. You've got to be kidding me. How are we 500 in regulation? This is absolutely ridiculous. I looked at our team and we sucked. But somehow we're doing okay. It's your pro scout before we head into the trade deadline. Oh, that's kind of cool. So we can be a buyer now. We could update it because... So never mind. I guess it's not rebuilder and stuff. It's... They, they changed it. So you can be a seller, a conservative seller, conservative buyer, or a buyer. Uh, you can read, I'm sure. So I didn't need to announce that to you. But anyway, I know the trade deadline has like it's like a mini game now and stuff, but I'm not really interested right now. But thanks. I totally should have made us a buyer. Like we're actually doing good now. I really don't understand the simulation engine in this game. Am I just not remembering correctly or did I just not look at it right? Is our team actually not that bad? I don't know. But if we make the playoffs, I'm going to be flabbergasted. And at this pace, it looks like we have a good shot. Well, it turns out we actually just miss out on playoffs. So yeah. That's unfortunate, but the fact that we were even close still blows my mind a little bit. And the Florida Panthers. Okay, I wonder how many points that OV line put up. JVR was almost a point a game player for us. Holy crap, man. I mean, our goalies did quite well. Uh, well, they did okay. 914, 274 is actually pretty good. So yeah, I don't know. I still don't know how our team had a winning record. It makes no sense to me. Colin D'Elia led the league in wins as a goaltender. I mean, Bob's right there as well, but... That's interesting. So McDavid put up 116 points, Barkov 112, and Ovi put up 106 with 61 goals. Patrick Kane on the Oilers with McDavid there put up 110. Huberdeau 104, so yeah, that Florida line went off. Malkin shows up like he usually does when Crosby is MIA. And wait, where did we ever see Crosby? Did we? So Ovechkin won the Rocket Richard, and it's not even really close. Oh, Crosby was with the Bruins. Okay, 
And he put up, quick maths, 66 points in 82 games. So not the best from him. I do kind of remember that now because Bergeron was pushed down to the second line. So yeah, it makes sense. Okay, well, let's look at the awards here. So Florida and Edmonton both succeeded very well, which is not really a surprise. Kaprizov won the Calder on the Wild. So there's that. So that's, <laughs> man, do I have to nerf him again? Or does the creative players just... Com like completely turn into a cheat code in this game as well. I hope that doesn't happen. Bill Masterton goes to McDonald on our team. Cool. Okay. And yeah, there you go. There's the trophies. So clearly sweeps in the Stanley Cup Finals is still commonplace in this game. So that's great. But anyways, that one was pretty fun to do. It was interesting. If you guys have any ideas for tossing players in free agency and seeing what happens, then go ahead and let me know down there. And yeah. I guess that's it. Like each other's comments so I know what you guys want me to do. On top of that, subscribe. I mean, it's free, you know? All it takes is one click. That's it. Just one measly little click, and there you go. It's done. But yeah, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll see you later.